Hi, this is Leslie from Chaotically Creative, and today I want to show you how to turn an ordinary diaper box into a more attractive storage box. It's a really cheap option considering that some of these storage boxes out on the market right now can go anywhere from 10 to 50, 60 dollars or more. In fact, I've even seen some baskets out there for 300 plus dollars. I know, crazy. So, um, before my son learned how to use the potty, I started hoarding diaper boxes because I knew I had a plan for them. Here lately, TJ Maxx and Home Goods have been um, stocking up, stocking shelf liners. And what's really great about these shelf liners is that they are really colorful, really bold. This one's a floral gray and yellow pattern, but they've had some really graphic colors like turquoise. Um, kind of modern patterns out there as well, and yellow, and you know, I saw a zebra pattern, which would be really cute in a little girl's room, or preteen room. So uh, for $5.99, you can get a pack of two, and um, usually in other retailers like TJ Maxx or your big box stores like Walmart, or even in the grocery store, it's about 5 to $7 a roll, where at TJ Maxx, you can get them for about $6 for two. So we're going to show you really fast, and when I mean we, that is Reef and myself and Gavin, my cameraman, we're going to show you real fast how to cover a box using contact paper. So what I do, sorry, shelf liner, I call it contact paper, it's just a bad habit. Um, what we're going to do, so you can use contact, if, they, if you can find contact paper that has prints on it, that's awesome. But right now, I'm just finding shelf paper. So I start with just a little bit exposed. Make sure you're doing this in a room where all your kitty and doggy hair is not on the floor, or else it's going to get all over everything. And I'm going to place the box with about, let me measure for you real quick. There's going to be about six inches exposed on the bottom and about two and a half at the top. It doesn't have to be exact. Just remember you want way more exposed on the bottom than on the top. And then I'm going to flip it and I'm going to start with this hand on top and then I have one hand on the bottom. Let me show you what's happening underneath. I'm pulling this paper, the wax paper, as I'm smoothing on top. This helps prevent any bubbles. I don't just want to remove the whole wax paper. That just creates such a big mess. So we're just, I'm just pulling and smoothing. And this is really easy and really fast. Pulling and smoothing. Now, um, and Amy at PositivelySplendid.com has an amazing tutorial as well um, for fabric color. I'm sorry, fabric covered diaper boxes. But for me, I just I don't have time for anything expensive. And although hers looks super easy, and if you have time and you want to do that, that's another great option. I would definitely recommend checking her site out. Um, that's PositivelySplendid.com. And check out Amy's fabric covered diaper boxes and hers actually comes with a liner. Now this one is just simple, easy. We do it plastic. <laughs> Nothing fancy. But I am after it's all said and done going to jazz it up with some ribbon and some lace. And that I will take pictures of. So Normally, I would have cut this before hand, but I completely forgot. So we're just going to take the knife and slice it. There we go. Just make a good, good cut. Now, I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick tip. This is dark paper, and I can very um, vaguely see the print showing through. It doesn't bother me that much on the small boxes, but on the big boxes, I can see it pretty well. So I may do a second wrap around the big boxes. Uh, I'm kind of funny like that because I like things to be kind of perfect. So now you have all your flats. I um, am not a seamstress. 
it's sad but true. My mother and my stepmother are great seamstresses. In fact, they both have had businesses um, regarding sewing. So I don't have a clue how to cut corners. So all I'm gonna do, let me see if I can show you. I'm gonna just cut straight down at the corners. Just like that. You know how to make this, you know, if you know how to cut corners all fancy like, go right ahead. And then I'm gonna smooth that sucker down. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm just gonna cut straight. And like I said, this is nothing fancy. And I'm gonna cut that in a little. I'm gonna, I am gonna fancy it up a little. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull that one back out. I'm gonna go and do this long one. See, I kind of wing some things. That's why I could not do a picture tutorial. Let's fold that big sucker in next, okay? We're gonna fold that one in. Now, we got these two little flippy flappies. I do want those to kind of look nice. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm on my wood floors, I'm gonna kind of, yeah, I can get this. I'm gonna come in and just make a cute little angle. Like so. See right there how pretty that looks? And we're going to flip that one up. Let's move out that bubble real quick. And there's a kitty hair, but we only got, I only saw one little kitty hair. I love contact paper. It's so easy to work with. See, I didn't even made a mess of that. I could just pull it right back up and smooth it out. Okay, I'm going to do this side. And then we're going to do the top, and then we're done. It is so simple. I mean, I've done these, I did a bunch of them last night. I mean, it literally took me, like, no time at all. And, I mean, what, 10 bucks for tons of boxes, and I still have a bunch left over. I mean, I was just buying the diapers anyways. Okay, same thing. We're going to cut... Great. I'm not to have to go to the emergency room tonight. I feel like sometimes I'm in episodes of uh, the Home Improvement Show. Oh my gosh, my memory's going too. You know another one with 10 now? Seriously, I'm only 31. I can't even remember the name of it. What was it called? Gavin, you're too young. I don't know. <laughs> He's shrugging his shoulders. I don't know what they're talking about. What's it called? Home improvement? Is that what it's called? Anyways, between mom and I, I feel like we're always getting into some kind of trauma. Okay, so we're cutting the slits and folding it down. I'm trying to do this super fast because trust me, I have no attention span and I know I'm going to lose you guys in a minute. You're going to cut me off and you're going to say, I'm not watching your video anymore. You're boring as heck. Okay, and if you want to cut us off, fine. You must know what you're doing. But you might have to turn me back on because you're going to get lost and you're going to say, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. And I'm just going to sit here and ramble until I'm done. Okay, last fold. I'm going to fold this sucker in. All the while, we're trying to get the bumps out. Smooth it, smooth it, smooth it. You want it nice and smooth. Okay, now. I don't know if I mentioned this before, I love Huggies boxes because what they have is handles, which not every brand has. So we're going to cut those bad boys out too. I may or may not decide to go back and fancy those up a little. Maybe, maybe not. I might have to with this one because I've just cut too much off because I'm trying to brush. But you see, just take your time. Sorry, take your time. Cut that off. You know, if you do make a mistake, I love twine, I love ribbon, anything like that. Take a little piece, hot glue it around there, no big deal. Makes it even cuter. If you're not using one with handle holes, then you don't have to do this step. Then the next step I do, and I'm not going to show it on camera because 
you guys get the gist. In my completely finished box, just to make it super cute and super pretty and finished, I went around the insides and I trimmed the insides of the shelf liner to make sure it's all even and pretty. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment area. I hope this was helpful to you guys. Make sure you check out your local Home Goods or TJ Maxx and get some of these really cute papers. They got tons of damask. They had a lot of the damask patterns. Those were cute. This was a Laura Ashley pattern. Some really cute retro patterns. And you know, if you're not going to cover your boxes with it, Take some of that shelf liner, you can cover the backs of your cabinets with it. You can even do a wall treatment with it. I mean, this paper is so fun. There's so many things you can do with it. I'm just, you know, dying to go back and check out some more and stock up and figure out what else I can cover with it. So, hope you had a great day and come back and join us at chaoticallycreative.com. Thanks.